fortune scholars welcome to fortune middle media with the fortune middle news team and now we see dominion with our flag football news at fortune middle school touchdown soon we will begin our fun friday flag football league season two in this season it will be entertaining, exciting, and it will contain some new changes that differ from the old season. Here's some information about this topic. Fortune Middle School is one of the only schools to have their own flag football league. Introduced last year, Fortune Middle School had a successful flag football season with four teams. Now, this year we have six teams and we're almost done with the regular season. A lot of kids, scholars, have been talking about it every week. Uh, very excited to get out there on Fun Friday and, and really show their skills. As it comes to an end, we're ready for the playoffs and the championship game. It's been great just being able to see um, some of the staff and faculty come out and support the kids. And you see a different side. You see a different side come out of the kids. Key details of the second season are official jerseys, referees, pylons, and so much more. The benefit of it is that um, you get something to do besides just, you know, being in the classroom. But you have to take care of the classroom first and your behavior in order to play. If you show you can do the right thing in the classroom, get good grades, and have good behavior, you'll be able to participate in the Fun Friday Flag Football League. Also, we will be having three seasons in one this year. This excites us for the upcoming winter season. We would like to see this league to grow something bigger to where we, we could be facing other Fortune schools and even, and even some other Elk, Elk Grove Unified or Sac City schools. Stay tuned for more as we will be getting signups in January. This is Dominion I at Fortune Middle School for Fortune Middle News Team. And thank you, Dominion. We are here with Daphne talking about the sixth grade projects. Hi, today we are checking out sixth grade's projects in their history unit, Mesopotamia, and the Stone Age. These sixth grade projects must have been made with tons of love and most likely took a lot of time. Some of the materials used as seen were many versions of things like trees, animals, people, etc. They honestly look great. There were some materials like hot glue that were used that were somewhat dangerous, so I'm very happy to say that there wasn't any injuries. This is only one of the many projects we'll see. Hopefully for their next unit in history, they'll have even better projects to show us. We look forward to seeing more projects from 6th grade at Fortune Middle School. This was Daphne C. signing off, Fortune Middle News Team. Thank you, Daphne. The Panthers have cheer. Here's more. Do you have cheer spirit? Because I do. In fact, we're sitting with one of our cheerleaders right now. I think that we're going to crush the other team even though they've been doing it longer than us. At Fortune Middle School, our cheer competition team is going to their first competition representing Fortune. Get ready to put your cheer face on. This year, we're just looking to push it even hard, harder and either, even further. We're excited about the competition that's coming up for our middle school girls. They've been working really hard. Um, we're just looking forward to taking it to the next level. Here's what we know so far. Practice is two times a week from 4 to 30 to 6 30, and it's even sometimes on Saturdays. Let's see if we can get some more information about our competition team. Cheer Squad is strong and confident. Uh, you get to have fun, you get to meet new friends, you get to go on things like competitions, you get the nice uniform, you get to be a part of a sisterhood, you know, and that kind of lasts forever. Uh, you get to learn a new skill too, so I think that's pretty cool. An update on the competition team is they just won their first competition recently in Roseville and are going to travel to Las Vegas. At Fortune Middle School, this is Isabel for Fortune Middle News Team. Oh, do you hear that sound? That sound is the drum line finally starting. It's a big opportunity for the scholars in Fortune Middle and High School. The sounds of the drums banging, the voices of the majors, make others excited to hear what they have in store this year. Starting great, so we are in our second full week of rehearsals. Uh, we had over 52 scholars between middle school and high school audition, 52.
Drumline gives you the sense of ownership and the sense of leadership. Also the sense of self-development, self-awareness, being your best self at all times, right? We are excited for everything Drumline has to offer. This year we are stepping up our HBCU game. So you're going to see a HBU style of marching, rhythms, dance like you've never seen before. So that's what we do, Drumline. One line, one voice, and one sound. Well, stay tuned for more amazing beats at Fortune Middle School. This is Ava B from Fortune Middle School News. Thank you, Ava. With the end of high school volleyball, here come winter sports and basketball. Here we are with AP. We're currently here at the Early College High School Gymnasium where the floor is being redone. Volleyball season just ended, basketball starting up, and we're ready for the action. Girls volleyball season didn't end the way they expected it to, but senior night was a great event. Um, we didn't reach the goal that we aimed out to, was to make playoffs and actually win playoffs, win the championship. Uh, but we did accomplish a lot as a team, as far as, you know, teaching them effort over excuses. Uh, uh, being a new school, I knew it would take us four years to get where we were, and now we're turning that corner where Fortune is a destination. Rex and Margaret Fortune, early college high school, just refurnished the gymnasium floor in their second year, and the teams are ready to go. Well, every year you want to keep your facility. That's one thing where our jewel is our facility. Early College High School was a place to be last season with many sold out games. Varsity and Junior Varsity Basketball looks to reestablish their dominance from last season. The outlook for the boys basketball and girls is that they return to the section finals. Uh, we made it, we should have won it, but you know, when you're a rookie, sometimes the ball doesn't fall the way you want it. And so the expectations is very high. The teams both hosted showcases inviting teams from other schools. The girls' varsity is starting strong. Everybody's, the word is out. Fortune is becoming the school of choice, and Fortune will be a school that black families can turn to. This is AP at Early College High School with Fortune Middle News. Thank you, AP. Here we have Dominion to tell you about our choir singers. Everyone thinks they have a good singing voice, but Fortune Concert Choir they have the talent. In Fortune Concert Choir, there are about 35 students. They sing gospel songs, and they will be singing at the halftime show of the Sacramento Kings game in early 2024. This upcoming carbon season uh, is going to be amazing. Actually, uh, currently we are preparing for uh, the Sacramento Kings game. We'll be singing the national anthem there and then also uh, for the halftime show. They sing songs such as the Star Spangled Banner, Lift Every Voice and Sing, and they will be singing a few more songs at their future performances. Once a month, our scholars actually will go out in the community uh, to travel um, and we will sing at different events, uh, mainly targeting uh, Sunday morning services because we are uh, somewhat of a gospel based choir. One, two, three, and four. Oh my God. Boom. Oh my God. They rehearse every Friday to freshen up their skills and make sure they're singing to the best of their ability. We look forward to hearing more from Fortune Concert Choir as the year continues. This is Dominion I at Fortune Middle School for Fortune Middle News Team. Thanks, Dominion. Everybody could use some student advice from time to time. Here are some Fortune Scars with student advice for you. One piece of student advice is to be a buddy and not a bully. One piece of student advice might be asking the teacher for help when you're struggling with your work. One piece of student advice that I would give to sixth graders is to turn in your work while you have the chance and don't wait for the assignments already due. Thanks, Fortune Scholars. We all use our phones, but that's because we love social media. Here's more with Daphne. Whenever students aren't studying, they are on social media. Here are some of the hottest apps students have been on, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. TikTok is an app to post short videos as well as stories. Instagram is where you post pictures, reels, and very short videos. 
Snapchat is an app where you post pictures and text or call your friends. Twitter is an app to talk to people and to have people reply to a picture or a statement somebody has said. Well, that's it for now. This is Daphne C. Watch your middle news team. Thank you, Daphne. I'm Makaya. I'm Emmanuel. And that was the Fortune Middle News Team on Fortune Middle Media. See ya! Let's do it one more time. You got it. All right, ready? I should do that. Three, two.